Hypoallergenic dog breeds are perfect for people who love dogs but don't love hair all over the house. Hypoallergenic dog breeds are also ideal for people who suffer from dog allergies. If you're interested in a small hypoallergenic dog breeds, it's important to understand what to expect and not expect from a hypoallergenic breed. Today we'll tell you 10 cutest small hypoallergenic dog breeds for allergic families. Number 10. Athen Pincher Like many of the wiry-haired dogs on this list, Athen Pinchers are great for allergy sufferers because of their low-maintenance coats. Athen Pinchers' wiry coats do not grow quickly and they're not big shedders. These dogs are known as confident, funny, and great toy-sized companion dogs. The Athen Pincher is small but bold, something that's not surprising once you know the breed's original purpose was hunting and killing rats and other pesky rodents. If you aren't completely won over by the Athen Pincher's adorable monkey face, you'll be entertained by its comical personality. The low shedding wiry coat needs twice weekly brushing trimming every two or three months. Number 9. Bedlington Terrier Another hypoallergenic dog with a recognizable appearance, the Bedlington Terrier's coat is reminiscent of a sheep. These dogs are known for their liveliness and desire to be the center of attention. Bedlington Terriers have crisp and curly coats that are a mix of soft and harsh, but not wiry, unlike many other terrier breeds. These are dogs that don't shed despite their unique coat. Although Bedlington Terriers don't shed, their coats do grow quickly and require regular clipping. The Bedlington Terrier boasts a short, curly coat and adorable thin tail. It is a larger terrier, standing between 15 and 17.5 inches and weighing between 17 and 23 pounds. It is often described as a charming breed prone to wandering around in enjoyment of its surroundings. Don't worry though, this breed won't stay too far. It is known for its exceptional loyalty as well. Bedlington Terriers look and feel just like sweet little lambs. Don't let the Bedlington's appearance fool you into thinking that they are timid or pampered creatures. They were originally used to dispatch rats and other troublesome vermin on farms and deep in coal mines and have retained their tenacity and prey drive. At home, they are gentle and loving companions. The oh-so-soft coat does not shed much, but Bedlingtons need professional grooming every few months. Number 8. Bichon Frise A dog full of personality and charm, the Bichon Frise is easily identifiable by its pure white coat. With their energy, Bichons are excellent companion dogs, getting along with children, other dogs, and excelling in large cities. They're also great lap dogs. As a hypoallergenic breed, Bichons shed very infrequently, and according to the AKC, when they do shed, the shed hair is caught up in their undercoat. Bichons will need to be brushed and groomed, but generally, they're a great dog for allergy sufferers. The Bichon Frise is an adorable, curly dog known for a playful, curious demeanor and an energetic personality to match. It is a breed that stands between 9.5 and 11.5 inches tall and weighs between 12 and 18 pounds. Bichon Frise's is French and translates to curly lap dog. And luckily, these curls don't shed. Outgoing and playful, the adorable Bichon Frise looks and feels like a soft, fluffy cloud. The breed was born in France, where the small white dogs first enjoyed an easy life as pets to the wealthy, but later found a new profession as delightful circus dogs. Gentle, affectionate, and friendly, Bichons love people of all ages. The fluffy white coat does not shed, but needs regular professional grooming. Number 7. Caton de Tuller Although Caton de Tullers may not be as well known as some of the other hypoallergenic dogs on our list, you'll know one when you see them. These dogs have soft, cotton-like white coats that can grow long unless they're kept in a short puppy cut. 
Despite the flowing appearance of their coats, Catan de Tulares are only occasional shedders and require minimum grooming, especially if their coats are kept short. If you're looking for a hypoallergenic breed that's a true companion, the Catan de Tulare will definitely be the dog for you. These dogs are fun, happy, and perfectly content to follow you around the house all day. The Catan de Tulare's dense cottony coat is long and luxurious. The so-called royal dog of Madagascar is the ultimate companion dog, wanting nothing more than to devote its life to you all day, every day. In addition to professional grooming, the low shedding coat needs daily brushing with a coat conditioning spray to keep it tangle free and protect from breakage. Or if you prefer, keep your Catan in a shorter pet clip, which requires less maintenance. Number six, Havanese. The Havanese stands out in a crowd thanks to its beautiful, long, silky coat. The breed originated in Havana, Cuba, more than 300 years ago, where they were cherished lap dogs of the wealthy. Smart, energetic, and outgoing, the Havanese loves to play, explore, and meet new people. The breed gets along well with people of all ages, including gentle children. The low shedding coat needs daily brushing to prevent mats. It can also be kept in an easier short style. Number 5. Lauchen the Lauchen's thick, soft coat is often kept in a lion trim and shaved hindquarters and a long mane on the neck and head, giving way to the breed's nickname of Little Lion Dog. Likely originated in Germany or the Mediterranean, Lauchen have been around for centuries. In pre-Renaissance Europe, Lauchen were popular companion dogs of ladies of the royal courts. Lochin are excellent family dogs, happily playing with respectful children and enjoying all aspects of family life. The coat sheds a little, but not much, especially if you brush it regularly. Number 4. Maltese One of the smaller hypoallergenic dogs, Maltese, like Bichons and Catan de Tulars, are known for their white coats. These dogs are low shedding but will require brushing and grooming if their coats are kept long. Maltese are true companion dogs. They're extremely affectionate, happy, and love to sit in the laps of their family members. The silky-coated Maltese is one of the oldest breeds of dog, with Mediterranean roots going back more than 2,000 years on the island nation of Malta. Extremely affectionate and people-oriented, Maltese are perfect for those who want a cuddly lap dog. Lively and playful, they are small enough to easily accompany you everywhere, something they would much rather do than stay at home alone. The snow-white long, silky coat doesn't shed, but it needs professional grooming and daily brushing with a pin brush or comb to prevent tangles and breakage. Some Maltese owners prefer a low-maintenance puppy cut. Number 3. Miniature Schnauzer the miniature Schnauzer is the smallest of three related Schnauzer breeds, including the standard Schnauzer and giant Schnauzer. All share similar backgrounds as farm dogs and rat hunters, and all have wiry, low shedding coats trimmed to leave a shaggy beard, mustache, and eyebrows. The miniature Schnauzer is a gruff looking bearded terrier that is notably friendly, intelligent, and highly trainable. It is one of the most popular breeds recognized by the American Kennel Club, ranking 19 out of 195. The miniature Schnauzer stands between 12 and 14 inches tall and weighs between 11 and 20 pounds. It is the smallest of the three Schnauzer breeds and very low shedding. Though small in size, miniature Schnauzers have plenty of energy and spirit. They love to play and need moderate daily exercise. Miniature Schnauzers need professional grooming every few months, brush out the longer hair on the legs every few days. The wiry double coat may be salt and pepper, black and silver, or solid black. Number 2. Poodle – Miniature and Toy The classic poodle is number 7 in popularity on the American Kennel Club's list. Poodles are renowned for their considerable intellect and the pride that comes along with it. There are standard, miniature, and toy varieties of poodles. While a standard poodle clocks in relatively tall and heavy, 
miniature and toy breeds may just be the right size for those looking for a small dog. The Poodle is one breed that comes in three size varieties, one large, standard, and two smaller, miniature and toy. The standard Poodle was developed in Germany as a water retriever. The miniature and toy varieties were bred down in size and were mainly companion dogs. Poodles are smart and lively, but tend to be calm in the house. The curly, non-shedding coat is high maintenance, requiring professional grooming every one or two months and regular brushing to prevent mats. Poodles with long coats may need daily brushing and combing. Shorter clips need much less brushing. Squarely built, well-proportioned, and smoothly muscled. The harsh, dense, curly coat comes in many solid colors, including but not limited to white, black, silver, brown, and apricot. Number 1. Shih Tzu The Shih Tzu is a very popular small dog breed that ranks 20 in popularity with the American Kennel Club. It tends to be on the tiny side of small, standing just 9 to 10.5 inches tall and weighing between 9 and 16.5 pounds. Shih Tzus are well known for their playful and outgoing disposition. They are also very affectionate family dogs that bond to their owners and never let go. Expect a lot of laughs with this hypoallergenic breed. The sweet Shih Tzu originated in China centuries ago, where it was a cherished lap dog of Chinese nobility. Adorable and charismatic, the Shih Tzu loves to play and gets along with people of all ages, including respectful children. The long flowing double coat sheds very little, so the breed is often compatible for people with mild allergies. The Shih Tzu needs professional grooming every few months and daily brushing if the coat is kept longer, less if you choose to try a shorter puppy cut. Do let us know in the comments which one of the breed are you going to get. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.